What's up fellow engineers, Dr McKay here and welcome back to my channel. How's it all going? Today I would like to do a little guide video on the new hinges that have come into the game via the Sparks of the Future pack. So if you've purchased the DLC and you want to use the hinges, this guide is for you and obviously it's going to be a quick guide because the hinge is pretty simple to use. So. Firstly, as you can see, you, this is the hinge, so if you're confused on what it is, you will find it in the advanced systems, and it's that one there, and you have four types, well you've got four types, you got the hinge, you got a hinge part, another hinge part, then, I'm not sure what the other one is, anyway, <coughs> and basically it has a conveyor pull on this side and on the bottom, so you can have your ores or your ignits and your components go through. Obviously I've got a few things here that I want to show you what you can do with the hinges. Obviously firstly, one thing I like to do with the hinges is I like to make a door or a roof to something that lifts up open like a hanger door. But you may, they may want to connect more than one hinge together. But obviously as you can see, obviously one hinge moves. Yep. But you can have both of them move together in a group, but they move at different rates. Now, to solve this problem and have them connect, or you've probably worked this out before, you can put a merge block in between the two. So, what we'll do is we'll find our merge blocks, which are here, and put one there, and one here. And you essentially do the hinge and bring one back and it should connect it's not connecting that's because I placed it <laughs> on the floor what a dope alright let's try this again alright so now we have one there and one there we put that on back and now it should connect there you go, now it's connected and now they should go together. So you could do this over a, a quite a large space, so you could do like 10 blocks and do it same on the other side and have buttons and tire blocks to open your roof. So this is basically one way to connect them together via like having two of them. It's a lot easier with the hinges than it is say with the pistons. So you can do quite a lot of things with this. Another thing I've created over here is a concealed landing gear. So if you have like a small grid ship, they want to hide your landing gear within, say, this. It does this already. And there you have it. Quite a simple design. You just literally have to... I'll show you the back of it. Obviously I've got two timer blocks. I have the hinge offset from the door. And obviously the door, but you have to basically have it so... The hinge is set up like that, or it'll be upright, but you have to turn the hinge facing 90 degrees to the back, put your landing gear on, then place your door, then set up your timer block. The first one is to move the hinge and open the door, and the second one is to close the door. So you'll have it so the timer block activates the hinge door, then the second timer block which closes the door. And essentially it will work like this. And you can obviously set your timers to work separately. As you can see, it will try and close, but it doesn't. But then when you press the button again, it goes through the other way. As the second time block activates, it shuts the door. So you can have a concealed landing gear on your small grid ships. I think it's a pretty cool idea. And it works well, especially with, say, an airplane. Obviously, you can't build airplanes in Space Engineers on Xbox, but if you... If you picture the landing gear on an airplane it opens up from a, a bay on the bottom of the aircraft and then the wheels come out so it's essentially the same thing but you can also do it with a land uh, not a landing gear a piston so you can have a piston set up on the rear of the uh, like the door say a few blocks back and when the door opens it pushes the landing gear out so there's another way you can do it but I thought that was a pretty like compact way you can do it and obviously I've tinkered with the starship a little bit and if you've watched any of this starship from SpaceX like live streams on YouTube you notice that they've added small landing legs to it 
and I've put some on the starship which I think looks pretty cool I've, I've yet I've kind of landed it over here on this this uh, drone pad as you can see and it works out quite well so it's like another thing you can do with it um, but essentially there's many different ways you can use hinges you can use hinges in like an arm so where you have like one like I sh showed you in the last video I had a hinge and then it went up to the conveyor tubes a little bit with another hinge it kind of made like a like a multi multiple angled arm now that can take time to program with the timer blocks and whatnot to or buttons depending on how you want it to work but with all those like ideas I've shown you on how to use them let's actually learn how to use them so if you're not that great at working out the game you know, don't worry I got you covered so we we'll come over to here now this is obviously a hinge and we have a control panel so this is what you need you need a hinge and a control panel so you go into your obviously I've set up here because I have so much stuff on those control panels it'll get confusing so go into your control panel and then find your hinge now the hinge is pretty basic it's just like a piston or a rotor you have obviously reverse detach attach uh, lock the hinge so you have like rotor lock but obviously it's for a hinge you have your torque your braking torque your velocity and your lower and upper limits now it's pretty straightforward so obviously lower and upper limits your 90 degree angles now you can set it so it goes from 190 degree to zero which is what it is at the minute so up and I want down one side or you can have it set at any angle you want so firstly let's just show you how to do it so at the minute it's set to lower limit as 90 upper limit as 90 so to turn it or to move it you increase the velocity and it will as you can see in the top it's moving and now it's gonna go all the way to the 90 degrees and now it's stopped and now you don't have to worry about adjusting the velocity now if you go to your control panel find your hinge and then type in reverse because you've set your velocity or whatever you set it as now when you click reverse it will reverse to the opposite side all the way instead of staying at zero which is what you build it as it will go all the way to the 90 so but it, maybe you don't want that you only want it to go back to the zero that's quite simple yeah you just go back into it and you change your upper limit oh too far you've got to be very careful when you do that you change it to the zero and now it should stop facing directly upwards and there you go pretty simple but <clears throat> another good thing about the hinges like the rotors is that you can change it so you can add small grid to it so as you can see over here I have a large hinge attached to small grid now you're probably wondering how you do that now it's basically the same as a rotor now if you watch my videos previously on how to get small grid on large grid you'll kind of already know how to do it so firstly you want to basically detach the top you can either do it that way or you can go into your build or you can grind it off so pop it off you know to grind it touch it whatnot and then you basically go into your control panel find your hinge go down and then do add small head and it'll put a small head on it now you've got to weld it up. Once welded up, it's still got a large port on it, so it's pretty handy. And now you can add, i find a small brick, small blocks. Pretty sweet. So you can literally have lots of creations you can do with obviously changing the large grid to small grid. And it gives me a few ideas with Starship and as well as other things. And it basically works exactly the same way. Now, you do have on the hinges side of things. Find it. You have a 3x3 three three small grid hinge. Which is like that. So basically the same size head is like a large conveyor port. But you can attach it to the hinge there. So you can even do different things when it comes to the hinges to change a, like a large grid say arm into a small grid to get wherever you want now does obviously require patience and understanding how to do it 
but that comes with toying around with it. This game is all about being creative, so let your imaginations run wild. Now, I think that's about it on the hinges. Pretty straightforward. If you have any comments or queries, please comment me down below. I've been Dr. McKay, and if you like this video, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more. I am going to be trying to do a few more Space Engineers videos in my future content, but I think as Star Wars Squadron rolls round, at the end of the week, I'm going to be focusing quite a lot on Star Wars Squadrons. And as you already aware, I am doing a game giveaway of Star Wars Squadrons when I reach 500 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And if you know anybody who plays Space Engineers and you think my videos will help, please share my stuff with them. Thank you for watching. Energy I've been Dr. Low. McKay. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.